Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick video on how to repair clothing problems you might have with importing into Unreal Engine. You might end up with something like this. I imported this into Unreal Engine and as you can see I have a little skin cloth problem here and I explored different ways of trying to fix it and I'm just sharing with you my way of fixing it. I'm sure there's other ways potentially to fix this but I feel like it's better to fix it in the character creator than in Unreal Engine and you can actually see the problem in character creator so let me just drag this Camille into the scene here and this just takes a couple minutes and there she is. I'm gonna just hit alt and just with my right mouse button and I'm gonna scroll in here a little bit. Okay, so let's look at this. If we go into the mesh and edit mesh, you'll see the problem right away. You'll see where the skin is coming through the shirt right there. And this translates into Unreal Engine and that's why we see what we see. So how can we fix this? I experimented with adjusting the mesh itself, but that didn't work as well as just adjusting the mesh on the cloth. So that's pretty easy to do. We're just gonna click here to close the mesh editor. And then I'm just going to double click on her shirt to edit it. And then we simply come over here to edit mesh. We're on the modify tab right here and we'll go edit mesh. And what we wanna do is go to sculpt. And if you look closely at this mesh, you'll see that it's deformed right here on the, I guess it would be on her left side already. So it gets weird if you mirror this. So the problem is only on one side. So we're just gonna to try to do some very subtle adjustments and rather than trying to be heavy handed. So we're just gonna try to do some subtle passes until the problem goes away. These settings are what I had. I had 25 for radius, mirror X is not on, intensity is about 50% and fall off is 100%. And then we just wanna make sure that we're on pull because we're trying to just pull this mesh out a little bit. So right about where the problem area is and if you forget kind of where we are, and zoom in a little bit more here and let's just we can just go out of this just to double check where our problem area is so we'll go back to the full body view here zoom in a little bit more and then we'll go edit mesh and see it's right in this area so right in there we'll close this now i wish there was a way to see that grid but it's right in this area okay double click on her shirt edit mesh and we'll see how many passes we have to do. But I believe just doing this in a few subtle passes versus, so what you can see our radius here, and maybe it, maybe I should expand that out just a hair. So maybe let's do 38. I think that's too much. We'll, st we'll just do 30, let's say. Cause it looks like it's, takes up about this size of an area. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click three times. One, two, three. And it's actually expanding it out. So let's see how much that helped. So we'll close the edit mesh editor there, select her head, come up to mesh, edit mesh and see if it's any better. See how much it's been reduced, the problem? So maybe just a couple more clicks and it'll be gone. So let's go ahead and close the edit, the mesh editor, select her shirt again, double click, go into edit mesh, zoom in a little bit here, go back to sculpt, and we'll just click right about there, once, twice, and again I think it's easier just to go under rather than over, and so we'll close the mesh editor, Click her head, come up here, edit mesh, and you can see the problem is gone now. So now you should just be able to export as I showed in a previous video and you will have resolved this particular problem. So anyway, I hope you found this of help and please subscribe if you can. I really do appreciate it. So take care and have a great day.